So this is a follow-up tutorial on creating explainer videos inside of After Effects, and in this video, we're gonna take a deep dive into animating individual objects inside of After Effects. And we recently have created a full character animation tutorial, which is really easy to follow along with and do if you have no experience with After Effects. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it below. You can watch it at the end of the video. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing awesome today. So this is gonna be a really easy tutorial to follow along with whether you're new to this. Um, the best part about this tutorial is that you don't need to have any design skills to create whatever you're looking to do because I'm gonna show you how to get any object that you're looking to animate for your video. So without wasting more time, let's jump into the tutorial and let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Adobe Illustrator and we have these vector graphics right here, but I'm gonna show you how you can download these vector graphics, whatever you wanna use for free. So you'll wanna to go to a website, I'll link it below called freepix.com and you'll come to your search bar and you'll search up whatever graphic you're looking for. So if you're looking for, let's say a laptop graphic, you type that in, go to all resources and make sure that's set to vectors and you can do free because, you know, I want you to be able to follow along the video. And you can come through here and you can find free vectors of a laptop by clicking through. So if you find something you like, you click on it and you can download it. I will link the one that I'm using in the description so you can follow along exactly with our tutorial and you can download our project file. And when you download your file, you'll get either two files, an EPS file or a .ai file. You're going to want to open this up in Adobe Illustrator. So you right click it, open with, and then you do Adobe Illustrator. So when that's imported in Illustrator, you'll have your vector graphics in here. And this is where you can bring in multiple graphics and lay it out however you see fit. But I need to show you how to organize these project files before we animate them in After Effects. So what we're gonna do is we'll come here to our Layers tab right here. You go up to Window Layers and we're gonna come down here at the bottom where it says Create New Layer. We're gonna create a handful of these because we need to be able to set this up to animate correctly inside of After Effects. And doing the work here is actually about 70% of the work, so it's really easy to do, and the animation part is super easy. So what you're gonna wanna do is click around, see what's selected. So if I do one click, everything will be selected. What I wanna do is see that, oh, okay, this layer objects is highlighted, so I can open this up, go into that group, and continue to open these so I can start seeing how things are organized. And now I can see, okay, this vector icon is selected, this one is kind of by itself. So what I can do is select that, and bring it into its own layer. So now by dragging it, that object is in its own layer and then I'll be able to animate that individually inside of After Effects. So I'm gonna wanna do that for every single object I wanna animate, bring it into its own layer here inside of Illustrator um, so we can animate it inside of After Effects. If I kinda just turn off the main group here, you'll see that all these icons are isolated by itself. Now, if you're doing your own layout and you have just like a single object you wanna bring into your main you know, project file, what you can do inside that single project, just select your uh, you know, your vector, copy it, go over to your main artboard and just paste that in there and then you can just lay it out and you know, by putting it in whatever spot you want, you should be good to go. So we'll continue to organize this so we see what we're doing. If there's anything you don't want, like for example, I don't want these accent you know, graphics here, I'll just select that. Another tip that we might need to follow along with, if you select our main group of graphics, you see that everything is selected. What we could do is go to object and click on ungroup. And you can click this multiple times, you'll see that, and they start to become easier to uh, separate. So now we have separate groups here. The laptop is isolated. I can go into that group and say delete this line down here by selecting that path and deleting it. And then I can bring that laptop into its own layer. I can see that this is a smoke. So I can bring that into its own layer and then reorganize that layer to be underneath the laptop. I can bring the rocket into its own layer as well. See that rocket's by itself. And I don't want these little accent graphics. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete those. All right. So now we have everything organized into its own layers. This is where we want to rename everything. So everything is renamed in its own layer and that's gonna allow us to be able to animate these individually and they'll be well organized. So I wanna be able to set this up correctly for After Effects. So what I'm gonna do is go to Window Artboards and where this little uh, icon's at, I'm gonna double click it and change the width and height to the right aspect ratio of my composition After Effects. So I'm doing 1920 by 1080. You can do 4K if you want. I'm gonna click OK. So then I can grab these objects. I can hold down Shift on my keyboard so I can scale them up proportionally and there it is so now i have all these objects in here it doesn't really matter about the size because these are vector objects you'll see what we're talking about later all right and when you're happy with this all you have to do is go to file save as 
and then just make sure you save it and then you're good to go. Then we can bring this over to After Effects. And before we move further into our tutorial, I wanna give a huge shout out to our Motion Graphics Starter Pack. So this is our title pack extension right here inside of After Effects where you can preview every title template before you apply what you're looking for. So when you find a title you want, you click on apply. And with a click of a button, you'll have a full title animation imported into your timeline which you can go into that composition and easily change out your titles. And with a click of a button, you can hide certain titles that you don't need and it won't affect the animation whatsoever. It'll keep it exactly the same. You can easily change the colors of your titles with a click of a button as well. And you're able to change other parameters as needed. And by using an accent motion graphics from our motion graphics starter pack, you can take your work to the next level by a few clicks as well. So if you want to check out our Motion Graphics Starter Pack, you can check our links below. It'll take you right over to our website. And if you do pick up anything on our site, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. Okay, so I have my Illustrator file that we saved. I'm going to import it into the After Effects project window. And it'll ask you how you want to import it. Make sure it's set to uh, composition. Click OK. Then we can double click this composition and we'll have all of our vector objects organized exactly how we had it in Illustrator. I would like to come up here to Layer, New, Solid. And I'm going to call this BG. I'm going to make the color white and click OK and bring this to the bottom. So now we have our background back in here and I can grab all my layers here. I can move them around as you can see. Perfect. And I'm going to make sure I turn on the continually rasterize icons for each of these layers right here. So then you can easily scale things up without any pixelization. So that's that. Then we can also come here to our textile tool and type out any titles that we want. All right, so I typed out two individual titles right here. Now that everything is laid out and ready to go, we can now animate everything. And as you see, we have each individual layer right here instead of After Effects. So let's start with the easy stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and select these individual objects here and you can see how them hidden. And I'm gonna do this animation really simple. So what I can do is hit S on my keyboard for scale. I'll come here to begin with timeline and I'll add a keyframe for scale. I'll move that keyframe forward and I'll bring this down to zero. We can also hit shift R to bring up rotation. We'll add a keyframe for that as well and move that forward. And I'm coming to rotate each layer individually in different directions. And then of course, to go ahead and make each of these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And we can adjust the keyframes as we see fit. And we can also offset the layers so they don't all come in at the same exact time. So now we have this very simple animation and it's just very subtle. You can do more complex things, which we'll get into in a second. So I'll give you some more options. And I went ahead and animated the laptop and the smoke, which is of a simple scale and opacity animation like we just did. So the rocket, let's talk about maybe some a little bit more complex animation here. So let's say you want to animate the individual layers of an object right here inside of After Effects. Well, what we can do is right click that layer and we come here to create and click on create shapes from vector layer. And what this is going to do is going to create a shape layer right here in After Effects, which you can open up, go into contents and you have each group of elements that you can animate separately. So for example, I can come in here and click on a very specific object and you see that this will be highlighted. I, if I don't want those extra graphics there, I can turn them off. So for example, I want to animate the exhaust or the fire, whatever it's called coming out of the rocket. And I found that layer right here and I can open up that group and I'll come here to add and I'm going to add just say a wiggle paths to this. And I can just do some quick, you know, variations to the settings here. So then as this goes through in time, I can actually have a little bit of a wiggle to our, you know, fire here. And I can copy that and paste it to the other group uh, as well. So it's not just static. And that will allow us to just apply this part to a very specific part of our graphic. And then also just a quick tip, you could grab like an individual object on this and you could animate this fully. So I go into the group, go to group 16. I can just say, hey, I can move that around and animate it or use all those individual transform properties to animate this in any way that I want. So that's how you can use that, but I'm not gonna go way too in depth because I don't think it makes sense. So now I can take this rocket outline that we have here in our shape layer and I can hit P on my keyboard for position and I can say, hey, I want this to animate downward and I will add a keyframe for it and I'll move forward in time and I can move it up above our composition. And then also what I could do is pre-compose this layer by going to layer, pre-compose, and we'll just call it rocket. And I'll grab the rectangle tool and I'll just want this to come out of the laptop. So I'll just draw this mask just like so. I can move it down to kind of match that cut there. So what's gonna happen is it'll animate out of the laptop like that. And you can of course go ahead and expand that animation uh, so it can be on the entire length of your timeline. So that is our tutorial on creating individual object animation right here in some After Effects for your explainer videos. As you see, I hope this process is very easy and this tutorial was effective. So now you're able to do whatever you're looking to do. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.